Within Unreal Engine, I have made the Rehydrated Teleport menu, which when used properly can give you more efficient access to the unofficial co-op story. Warning to any players, this is not a multiplayer mod, and the menu can only be used within the confines of the multiplayer intro map. Step 1, download all files from the links below, as well as the zip file for the mod, appropriately named teleportmenu.zip. Step 2, within the zip, copy the pineapple file found within, and paste to the profiles folder of your UML directory. This will help UML function with Rehydrated. I created this myself, so you won't need to edit anything. Step 3. Locate the installation of your game files, and follow this path. Within the packs folder, create a folder called Logic Mods if one doesn't already exist. Go back to your zip file and copy paste the teleport menu.pack into the Logic Mods folder. Step 4. For the sake of convenience, go back to your UML directory and follow this path. Copy and paste the .ini and .dll files to the Win64 folder in the rehydrated installation. Open the .ini file and you will see a file path. Change this to the root directory of your UML folder. Make sure to include the Unreal Engine modloader.dll in the file path as follows. This will allow you to open UML with the game every time you launch, making the need for opening the tool itself redundant. Step 5, now let's add split screen. So the second player has an easier and more enjoyable time playing. Go to app data and follow the directory here until you find the engine.ini file. Your next task is simple. Copy and paste this at the bottom of the file. For the sake of this video, I will put this in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it. Step 6, you can now load into the game and start a new save. When you've gotten into Spongebob's Pineapple, press F1 and click into the Logic Mods menu. Click into Teleport menu, and then click into Mod Buttons. You will see two buttons, labelled MP and TP menu. We can't use the menu within the main game, so go ahead and click the MP button. Step 7, you now have been sent to the intro map for multiplayer. Press the TP menu button to bring up your options for where to go. These buttons are appropriately labelled to give you an idea of your destination. Now go ahead and click on any of them for testing purposes. The results should be two Spongebobs within the destination level. Step 8 is the final step, and an important thing to note when playing through the game, if you proceed to the next level through normal means, the second player will despawn. You will have to use the buttons as shown earlier to get them to spawn again. Now that does mark the end of the tutorial, though I will point out in the same way that I did in the original. You can't use bus stops as the second player. If the second player talks to NPCs as well, there's a weird camera thing that happens. This can be an easy fix when you speak to someone as player one, I'm pretty sure, or if you change characters. So basically, player one should be the only person to talk to people, change characters the normal way, and yeah. Now you may need to launch UUU with your current playthrough so that the second player can still change characters whenever they want. I'm very hopeful that people will find this current tutorial a lot more useful than the previous one. If you encounter any problems, I advise that you rewatch the video to try and solve it, but also leave your comments below and I'll see if I can help. I've also only done a small amount of solo testing, but I would imagine the mod shouldn't give you any issues. I should also mention that I don't have the knowledge needed for making an actual multiplayer mod, so this teleport menu is the best option we will have for a while. I appreciate you all for watching.